Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Bravo. I work at Canonical as a Cloud Alliance Director. And in this short video, I wanted to show you how to enable AWS Systems Manager on Ubuntu Pro, so you can manage all your instances from one single place on the cloud. All right, so this is the EC2 console that you already know. I'm gonna click here on Launch Instances. And of course, the first step that you get when you try to launch an instance from the, the web console is the Quick Launch menu where you can pick Amazon Linux too, you can pick Mac OS in some regions, uh, Red Cat, SUSE, and of course our free versions of Ubuntu that you may already know. But I'm going to go for the marketplace here, and I'm going to search for Ubuntu Pro. Why Pro? Because Pro is our proposal, our offer for running professional workloads. Uh, it has embedded security, it has already um, several services that will allow you to have, for example, live patch for your kernel for some specific specific versions, sorry. And you will have also ESM enable, which is that you will get extra security patches for the repositories that are normally maintained by the community. So if something happened, you have a, a CVE, you will have in a couple of days a patch for that, and you just need to pull an upgrade and, and that's it. So getting back to the console. Um, I'm going to click here on select. Here you will have a summary of what, what you're getting and also the pricings. Pricing, of course, depends on, on the size of the machine. Next step is choosing the instance type, which I'm going to pick T2 Micro for the free tier, just for the exercise. And in the instance detail, I'm going to leave everything default, VPC, which has already an internet gateway and have everything configured. But one important thing is that I'm going to add an IAM role. Why is that? It's because every Ubuntu image, being the free versions or, or pro versions, they have already installed the SSM agent. All right. So in order to enable it, you just need to add attach a role to this instance to let the agent to interact with the SSM API. All right, so we're just for the sake of an exercise, I'm going to do it, create the rule manually, all right? Because when you open Systems Manager, also it has a wizard that guides you to create the rules and everything. But here, just for the sake of their exercise, I'm going to create it manually. All right, so we are allowing an EC2 instance to be able to interact with AWS services, all right? So this is where we start. Which policies? We're going to search for or filter for SSM and we, we are going to give it access to the core services and patch association. All right. So role name, I'm going to put my SSM role and I think that I'm on the sixth version or something. I'm not very creative with names. You will see. And that's it. I'm going to hit create role. It already exists. See, I'm not creating at, at all. <laughs> I'm hitting create. And that's it. The role has been created. I'm switching back to the wizard. I'm going to reload this. And here it is, my SSM role 7. OK, so that means that this instance will have access or will have the permissions to access SSM and interact from inside to this console. I don't need any additional volumes, no tags for this exercise. And just for showing so showing you some of the capabilities of SSM, I'm going to disable SSH, okay? I don't need to connect to this, this, um, to this machine. We can put whatever we want here, but all right. So this is the summary. I'm gonna hit launch. And since I'm not connecting to this machine through SSH, I'm going to proceed without a key pair. So in other words, what I'm doing is, is, is um, tightening the security of the machine, right? So I, I'm, I'm closing up ports. I don't need, for example, to use a Bastion host to connect to this machine. I'm going to use just SSM, all right? OK, now the instance is being launched. Sometimes this can take a little bit longer if you are subscribing to the product or. Okay. 
All right, so the machine is being is being launched as we speak. I'm going to pause the video for some seconds, maybe just to for saving some time. All right, now the machine is running, right? The status is still in initializing, but I'm going to head to the systems manager console. And in this console, you will see different tools from higher level management for to until uh, instance management, okay, which is called node management here, all right? So you have you have Explorer, App Center, where you can see higher higher level status of what is going on in, in your in your complete account, all right? If some automation failed, if you have vulnerabilities, you will have it on the dashboard here. Application management here will show you a way to group um re your resources against specific applications so you don't need to manage instances per se but you manage applications which are, are groups of of different types of resources change management is a very powerful tool that will allow you to to run uh, automation and certain activities in your servers in in, in an automated way for example, I can define that every night I need to update my instances so I can automate it here in maintenance window. And then here we are on Fleet Manager. I'm clicking here. And if everything went well with, with the role, you should see your instances all here in this list. All right. Of course, I have only one because I have just launched one instance here. Operating system is Ubuntu. And um, interesting thing is that if I click here, I can see, for example, the inventory, what comes already installed in, the, in this machine. If I had installed Node.js, Mongo or, or Apache, whatever, I, I could also, I should be able to see it here with versions and everything. Okay, I'm going back. So Fleet Manager again, and I will show you something very interesting. So here in Node Actions, you, you can have a terminal session, which I was mentioning you before about having an SSH session without really opening up ports or using bastion holds and, and so on. For example, if I click here top, I see status of, of services and load of the, of the server. Um, I can here browse the direct directory. I can do management tool. Uh, uh, task like uh, update and everything. So, and one of the things that I wanted to show you, I mean, I'm just taking the opportunity to show you one of the things that come already enabled in, in Ubuntu Pro. UA is the Ubuntu Advantage tool that will enable to see what, what your entitlement are. I mean, what features are, are out of the box on Ubuntu and, and, and the status. You can enable them, disable them here. So, for example, here are the first, first two that come already enabled that are called ESM, which is the Extended Security Maintenance. Um, if you launch an Ubuntu Pro instance, you will get, by default, you get 10 years of support, all right? So if you're lazy enough like me, um, you will you will know that this machine will be, uh, be patched and maintained for at, at least 10 years. Um, infra means that, that everything on the main repositories are covered and apps mean that everything from the universe is supported. And remember that universe is super vast, it's huge because it's supported by the community. But if some specific CVE is discovered, in a couple of days you will get a patch for that specific version that you have. Okay, FIPS, if you need to, to run workloads on... on on federal, I mean, on, on, on government of the United States or, or Canada, I think. Uh, and uh, FIPS is a certification that with a couple of commands will certify that you are running the right versions and the right of the packages of the kernel, cryptographic packages and so on. Live patch, if you have some specific kernels, um, you can get, for example, patches in real time without, without needing to reboot and so on. USG is another addition here. It's our Ubuntu security guide that will allow you to harden your image with some, some commands, all right? Um, and that's it. Let me exit here. Okay, so now, now we, have, we have enabled Systems Manager. The, the machine is a managed node and we can, we can do other interesting things. For example, I can execute a run command. So imagine that you have thousands of fleets of, of servers and you want to run one specific action, every server, you do it here, or you can automate it also. 
So what I'm going to do is to run a shell command. I'm going to update this instance. So it could be 1, 100, and it's the same procedure for, for all. So I'm going to, I'm going to click here on, on run shell script. And the command is first update the repo. And then upgrade the packages. That's why very important. All right. So here in target, you can, for example, specify by tags. For example, if you have tagged all, all your web server instances as, uh, as web server, you can have also tagged by other applications, by backend APIs, and so on. Here, I'm, I'm just choosing instances manually because I have only one, right? And I don't need the output on an S3 bucket. If I'm running this against uh, hundreds, hundreds of machines, I, I, I mean, it's better to, to enable the S3 bucket to get the output of this command, right? So you can troubleshoot if something happens. Also, you can enable SNS notifications and so on. All right. And that's it. Now I'm running this command automatically in one, one instance. Um, and as I said before, it could be run on several instances at the same time, and, and, and it's great. So it's going to take time because, of course, it's doing the, the, the upgrade. So I'm going to post the video right here for the sake of the time. All right, done. I just hit here on, on update and it's done. So if you want to see what happened um, in output, you will see all the all the output of of this command, everything went well. On error, error will capture everything that is a warning or something that is is non-standard. All right, and here there is nothing nothing strange. This is the the standard um, output that you get. Okay, so what we have done here is to, is that we run a command directly into the machine without having to log in. All right, this is the important thing because also if you want to do it as a good practice, as a, as a um, regular maintenance, you can define here a maintenance window when, when you define when you need to run specific actions and then it will just do it. Okay. All right. So, um, and that's it. That's it. The most important things. You also, you can play with patch manager. You can, you can see the inventor inventory here. Um, so for example, you see packages, you have more, more OSs. This is very relevant and things that are interesting to see also is, for example, there are many, many tools here. You can also browse the file system. So you click the, your instance and you can see the file system here. You can get content. You can see files. Um, at the moment, I don't see any way to put documents into the into the um, i mean uploading documents into into the instance but this is good enough for troubleshooting for example all right and that's it um just as a summary every ubuntu instance just i mean the pro version the free version they already have the ssm agent installed in aws all right uh, you just need to enable uh, a role for letting the agent to communicate with system manager one this once this communication is is uh, working um this instance becomes a managed node all right and that's it from there everything is is managed from a uh, with system manager this instance doesn't even have the ssh port open i don't need to have a bastion host uh, nothing and i can i can uh, run commands directly into this machine i hope you have enjoyed the video um thanks for watching